This is part 34 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to bind event handlers to events using on method in jQuery. This is continuation to part 33. In part 33, we discussed binding event handlers using bind method. Now, if you are using jQuery version 1.7 or higher, then you should be using on and off methods instead of bind and unbind methods to bind event handlers. The syntax for using on and off methods is very similar to using bind and unbind methods. Here we have the same example that we worked with in the previous video session. Notice that we are using bind method to bind an event handler to click mouse over and mouse out events. Now, if you have to use on method instead of bind for this example, all you have to do is change the name of the function from bind to on and it should continue to work the same way. Let's look at this in action. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here we have the same example that we worked with in the previous video session. At the moment when we mouse over this click me button we get that mouse over effect. On mouse out we lose that mouse over effect and when we click the button we get the x and y coordinates of the mouse pointer where the click event occurred. Right? Now when we click disable mouse over effect, now when we move the mouse over, look at that, we don't get that effect. Now to bind the event handlers, we are using bind method and to remove the event handler, we are using unbind method. Right? So here we are using bind and here unbind. Now instead of bind, let's go ahead and use on method and instead of unbind, I'm going to use off method. So this method removes the event handler this method binds the event handlers. Alright, so let's save the changes. Now this example should continue to work the same way. So let's reload the page and look at this. When I mouse over we get that effect. On mouse over we lose, mouse out we lose it. When we click the button we get the X and Y coordinates. Now when I click this disable mouse over effect we should remove the event handler for mouse over. So now when we mouse over this button notice that we don't get that mouse over effect. But when I click it we should still get the X and Y coordinates. Alright, so at the moment we are using on and off functions instead of bind and unbind. There are, there are other capabilities of on and off functions which we will discuss in a later video session. Now, if you look at this example right here, notice that you know when any of these events occur, we are calling the same anonymous function. Right? So for these three events, we have the same event handler function. Now, to this function, we are passing the event object. Depending on the type property of the event object, you know, we are executing the code that is appropriate for that event. So if event.type is click, then we are retrieving the x and y coordinates and displaying them within the div element. If the event type is mouse over, then we are adding a CSS class to this button element. If it is mouse out, then we are removing the CSS class. But then all this logic is present within the same anonymous function. Now in your application there might be a need where you want to execute different function for different event. Is that possible using on function? Absolutely. In order to achieve that, we are going to make use of JSON object. So I'm going to delete all this code and then let's use the on function and to this I'm going to pass you know, a JSON object. And here I'm going to first specify the event which is click. And when that click event occurs we want to call an anonymous function. And to that we want to pass the event object. So what do we want to do when the click event occurs? We want to display the X and Y coordinates of the mouse pointer within this div element. And the ID of the div element is div result. So let's find that element first. And then use the HTML method. So we want to display the string. Button clicked at. We want the X coordinate X equals event object dot page X. And to that we want to append y equals event object dot page y. Okay, so if click event has occurred, this is the function you know that's called. And then next, you know, this is a JSON object. So this is the name and this is the value. So when the click event occurs, we want to call this function, and then we are going to specify another name value pair. So the name of the event is going to be mouse over. And when that event occurs, we want to call a different anonymous function. 
And what do we want to do on mouse over event? We want to add a CSS class to this button. So this is the button on which the mouse over event is triggered. So to refer to that button element, I'm going to use this keyword and then call add class method and then specify the name of the class. And the name of the class is button style. So let's copy that and pass it to this function. Okay, so that's what we want to do on mouse over. And finally, on mouse out, we want to call another function. And what we want to do on mouse out? On mouse out, we want to remove that CSS class. So I'm going to use remove class function. Okay, so notice here we are executing different functions when different events occur. Okay, we are using on function at the moment. So let's save the changes, reload this, and it should continue to work the same way. Look at this on mouse over and on mouse out, and when we click, we get the X and Y coordinates. So here, at the moment we're using on method, we can do the same thing using bind as well. So even with bind, you can pass a JSON object and associate a different function to be called when different events occur. So I'm going to use bind, let's save the changes, and when we reload, you know, it should still continue to work the same way. Right. Now, in the previous sessions of this video series, we discussed jQuery shorthand functions, that is dot .click, dot .mouse over, dot .mouse out, etc. These functions actually call on method behind the scenes, right? So if you look at, for example, let's take this button element, and then look at this. We can use, to associate a click event handler, we can use the shorthand function dot .click. Now, if you look at this, uh, you know, shorthand function, when you right click on that, and when you select go to definition. So this is our jQuery source code. And look at what's happening here. This function is actually calling on method. Okay. So all the short hat functions, you know, like mouse over, for example, you know, even this calls on method behind the scenes. Look at this. This is also calling on method. So all the jQuery shorthand functions behind the scenes actually use on method. Now, so far in this video series, we have seen three different ways of binding event handlers in jQuery. One of the ways is by using shorthand functions, dot .click, dot .mouse over, etc. How do we use them? On the element, you call dot .click, dot .mouse over, and then specify the function that you want to execute when that event occurs. If you're using jQuery version 1.7, um, you know, less than 1.7, then you can also use bind method. And what is the syntax for that? On the element, you call the bind method and specify the name of the event and the function that you want to call when that event occurs. And if you have jQuery version 1.7 or higher, on method can also be used. So on the element, you call on and then specify the name of the event and the function that you want to call. But keep in mind, according to jQuery.com, the recommended approach is to use, you know, on method if you're using jQuery version 1.7 or higher to bind event handlers. Thank you for listening and have a great day.